the Northwest Adventure presents One Skiff, One Triller, and One Truck. I'm here at Lake Cleland fishing away in my Colorado inflatable pontoon. The weather started getting rough, so I ate some lunch, took a nap in my car, and then the sole boating family who was here talking to me earlier today. They returned back to shore. They had some problems with their kicker. And so when Mr. went to get his truck, he brought it down to the ramp with his trailer, hooked it up to his boat, and his wife was on the back end of the boat, getting it all connected. He jumped out of the truck. The truck rolled down the ramp, and it covered his wife. She went under the water, was submerged. Mr. jumped inside of his truck and was able to put it in park. But at that time, the waves kept coming in. His truck kept going under. We yelled for him to get out of the truck. So he made a narrow escape out of the truck before it was completely submerged. So what we have now in Lake Cleellum is the boat, the trailer, and I believe it's a Chevy 2500 truck. This is the truck, minutes before she went under. The Cleellum Fire Department team showed up and in the journey, Mr. the truck ran over his heel. So he has a suspected fracture. He's headed to the hospital in Ellensburg at this time. So listen to me, people. Stuff happens, and it happens quick and in an instant, and it could take your life. So hang on and hold on to those you call dear. And now for the recovery of the trailer and the truck. So before the owners left the lake, they were able to contact a local area 24-hour tow service called Gillette's. The tow company's first plan of action was to send in one of their tow truck drivers by the name of Roman. They wanted him to jump in and tie the winch up to the boat and trailer. But I'd been out at the lake for most of the morning and let them know I didn't think that was going to be a solid possibility. First off, Roman's not a diver. He's not trained to jump in lakes and connect things. And it was way too windy. The water was way too rough. We weren't going to risk it. So I had this idea that we would take the owner's skiff and we would use that and run it out there and at that point we would tie a line to the trailer and start winching it from that direction and not the truck because it was way too deep and way too windy. Basically every time we approach the truck and we approach the trailer since we were too close to the shore we just got battered by the waves. Like I mentioned, just way too windy. So we did what we could. But yeah, I literally tried to tie a nice bowl and knot into the trailer three or four times, and we would just keep getting pushed back. It was definitely a challenge, but we made the best of it and finally made the hookup. Have you ever lost your boat, truck, or trailer at the boat launch? Let me know in the comments. As a former emergency medical technician, done a lot of rescues and recoveries in my time. This was a very interesting one, to say the least. Once the truck made it out of the water, it was amazing to see that the windshield wipers were still going back and forth. And yet this truck had been submerged for at least an hour or more. Believe it or not, if you live out in the Pacific Northwest, cars and trucks and motorcycles end up in the lakes quite a bit. So the reason why Roman is jumping into the bed of the truck and looking in the truck, I think his goal was to see if he could turn the keys and shut the truck off and or make sure it's in the proper gear. Because now we are actually pulling it out of the lake. He was making some loud noises as we were dragging it through the ramp. Earlier in the morning when I was in my pontoon fishing, this lake is so clear I could see trees underneath me. So that's most likely what the truck was dragging on. And these were some big trees. 
Now Roman's going to the back of the truck to where I believe the trailer hitch is. And he's going to hook up another winch. If I recall correctly, that'll give us a little bit more strength. Let's pull this truck in the rest of the way and get it out of the beach. So have you ever been to Lake Cleelum? Have you even heard about Lake Cleelum? I'd only driven by it for years. I was actually fishing at Potholes Reservoir in central Washington for two days prior to this. I woke up early this morning, listened to my heart, and it said, check out Lake Cleelum and go for the Mackinaws. Mackinaw trout, that is. In a moment, you'll see the awesome looking fish called the Mackinaw, and you'll also see it as it's cooked up and served on a dinner plate. So hang with me. So I decided to keep manning the skiff, stay in the water, and keep my eyes on the lines. Make sure they were tight, and make sure everything was working just as good as we planned. One thing I learned years ago in Kodiak, Alaska, while working on the fishing vessel Oceanic, is there are no guarantees in fishing, with the exception of knowing that something will always go wrong. So stay prepared for the worst and hope for the best. Though you really can't see what's going on here, there's a lot to making sure we can get this thing all nice and tight without breaking anything. And that's the whole goal, is to get the truck out of the lake just as good as condition as it went into the lake. So yeah, it definitely was a task for us being in these conditions. Now looking at the video, the water doesn't look so bad. But yeah, you get out there in a little boat, and it's a whole other world. So what's one of the craziest or most incredible things you've ever gone through in a boat, at the lake, in the river, or on the ocean? Let me know, let's discuss. I want to hear your adventures, your stories, and how you were able to get out and be able to write about it or talk about it better yet. Yes, we finally got the truck out of Lake Cleelum onto the boat ramp. Okay. So we've got the boat, we've got the truck, there's Roman. Help us out. Work. Now it's time to connect the GMC 2500 up to the tow truck and get it back to town. So I'm going to come here to this box to the Yeti. Gave me the go ahead to grab some fish. I'm going to grab some of these and then head north by northwest. Signing out for now. It's Narvaez of the Northwest, the Northwest Adventure. Stay strong. And stay safe, my friends.